Uh, what's up? It's the second day, third day, second day for the vlog. It's March 24th, and I read uh, chapters 1 to 5. What I'm going to do is I'm going I'm, I'm to break them into sections like we did with uh, Pride and Prejudice. So I think it's like every six chapters that I'm going to read. And yeah, so basically, uh, we were introduced to several characters, old Mr. Dashwood, then you had Henry Dashwood, and then you had John Dashwood. So it's like John's the son of Henry, and then Henry's the son of the old guy. Basically, the old guy dies, Henry dies, and then John Dashwood is married to a a lady that I, I don't really like. Her name is Fanny. She's a bee. And basically, um, they come and then they, they live with the, the three sisters because we're introduced to three sisters, I believe. And it's it's Marion, Marianne, whatever, Eleanor, and Margaret, and the mom, Mrs. Dashwood. And then what we get really quick is... Well, I'm trying to focus in on, on kind of like theme, plot development, and character development. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to focus in on that. Right away, we, we, we see that Eleanor is more of the, um, I guess, kind of like, uh, I, I, would, I don't know who to compare it from Pride and Prejudice, but the point is that the book is titled Sense and Sensibility, and Eleanor has like sense. She, she's like, she has better judgment and stuff. And then Marianne is more... She's like weird. She's kind of strange to me so far. Like, I'm still kind of confused. But point is that she's more of like the sensible character, I guess. And then, in a way, I guess you can say Marianne is Elizabeth, and then uh, Eleanor is Jane from Pride and Prejudice. If you if you want to compare them, um, Marianne is very similar to her mother too, in in the way of like perceiving things and and uh, her views and stuff. Um, Margaret is kind of similar to them um so so far what we see is fanny seems to be getting in the way of things and she really cares about money um the two other girls they, they didn't really inherit a lot i guess and um what happens is john which is a like like brother or something um he comes and then he's staying where they stay but then in the end, the three sisters and the mom, they move away because they don't really want to be with Fanny. They were given the opportunity to move. So that happens. And, um, <sighs> hold on, let me move. Right off the bat, we, we begin to see kind of how the plot's going to develop because um, upon moving, Eleanor, she develops a thing for, I think it's Fanny's brother, Edward Ferrars. Ferrari. So yeah, so she she develops something for him, and then Marianne feels like some some type of way towards her. She kind of dislikes her because of the way that, that I guess she talks about him. How she only like esteems him or something like that. I think at one point it says that. Um, point is that I feel that her desire or affection that she has for Edward is going to um, play like a vital role in the story. And Marianne, she's really I guess picky with things. And that's also going to play a role in the story. Um, but I think that Austin, the way that, that she's trying to write this is because she's really, uh, she bases her stories on irony. Because we've seen that in, in Pride and Prejudice. So we see how she bases characters off of like, um, like, I guess you can say not really materialistic. Instead, they, they go with like the true emotions and feelings of people. So we're going to see how that plays a role since it is kind of money-based and materialistic. So we'll see how their feelings get in the way, I guess, of their true intentions and stuff. So far, I'm, I'm still kind of confused. Like, like I, I, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure, like, um, how's it going to happen, what's going to happen or what's going on and stuff. But uh, that's kind of what I got so far. And yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow or later on today, depending if I read again. I don't know.